A new artificial intelligence algorithm which is being developed by one of the biggest universities in the field of biology has managed to accomplish feats which DeepMind's AlphaFold 2 could not even dream about. This increasing speed of innovation in the field of medical technology is largely thanks to the almost exponentially improving field of AI research, and now, the next big step since AlphaFold 2 seems to have been done with the potential and ability to detect and eventually cure any kind of virus and disease within record time. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I'll talk about one of the most exciting developments in the field of artificial medical intelligence, how this technology actually works in the first place, and finally, what this could mean for the future of society, the medical industry and AI. Deep learning is unraveling biology's greatest mysteries at breakneck speed. DeepMind just solved a 50-year-old grand challenge, protein folding. Within a week, they had created a completely comprehensive database of over 350,000 protein structures, including over 98% of known human proteins. Structure is important to biological processes. The data dump, which is expected to reach 130 million structures by the end of the year, allows scientists to delve into the most mysterious aspects of biology and untested proteins in the human body's constitution. The outcome is nothing short of revolutionary. Deep learning has given us a golden key to unlock new biological mechanisms, natural or synthetic, that were previously impossible, from fundamental life science research to generating new drugs to battle our greatest disease adversaries like cancer. The AI darling is now poised to do the same for RNA. As the middle child of the fundamental dogma of DNA to RNA to protein, RNA received little attention until its contribution to the COVID-19 vaccine. However, the molecule is a two-pronged hero. It contains genetic information and, depending on its shape, may accelerate biological activities, govern which genes are activated, alter your immune system, and, even more bizarrely, perhaps pass down memories across generations. It's also exasperatingly tough to grasp. RNA, like proteins, folds into complex three-dimensional structures. The difference, according to Stanford University's doctors, Riju Das and Ron Dror, is that we know very little about these molecules. There are 30 times as many kinds of RNA as there are proteins, yet the number of decoded RNA structures is less than 1% of the number of deciphered protein structures. The Stanford team made the decision to bridge that chasm. In an article published this week in Science, they presented the Atomic Rotationally Equivalent Scorer, a deep learning system that effectively solves RNA structures, blowing prior attempts out of the water. The authors have made significant progress in an area that has been resistant to transformational breakthroughs. Even more astounding, Ares was trained on only 18 RNA structures and was able to derive significant building block principles for RNA folding, which will be tested in experimental labs. Ares is likewise input agnostic in the sense that it is not especially tuned to RNA. This method is relevant to a wide range of issues in structural biology, chemistry, materials science, and other fields. The significance of this biomolecule in our daily life may possibly be described as a cold vaccination. But it's so much more than that. RNA, like proteins, is transcribed from DNA. It likewise includes four letters, A, U, C, and G with a grasping U and C bound to G the most well-known kind of RNA is messenger RNA, or mRNA, which carries the genetic instructions to create proteins. But there's also transfer RNA, or tRNA, I like to think of it as a transport drone, that latches onto amino acids and shuttles them to the protein factory, microRNA, which regulates gene expression, and even weirder relatives we don't know much about. Bottom line. RNA is a potent target as well as a source of inspiration for genetic therapy or vaccinations. To destroy a gene's RNA messenger, for example, is one method to turn it off without ever touching it. When compared to gene therapy, targeting RNA may have fewer unexpected consequences, while preserving our genetic code. RNA frequently reminds me of tangled headphones in my head. It begins as a string but eventually tangles into a loop-de-loop, -loop, similar to twisting a rubber band. That twisted structure twists again with surrounding loops to produce a tertiary structure. RNA, unlike irritating headphones, bends in semi-predictable ways. It tends to form one of many structures. 
These are similar to the shapes your body contorts into when doing a series of dancing routines. Tertiary RNA structures then connect these dancing steps to form a theme. Every RNA most likely has a unique structural personality. This seeming simplicity is what causes researchers to scream. The building components of RNA are simple, only four letters. They also fold into semi-rigid structures before becoming more complex tertiary forms. Nonetheless, despite these benefits, modeling complicated RNA structures has proven problematic. Current deep learning solutions often begin with a single requirement. A large number of training instances so that each layer of the neural network can learn how to effectively extract features, information that helps the AI to make good predictions. For RNA, this is a no-go. Unlike protein structures, RNA simply lacks sufficient empirically tested and proven instances. The authors chose an unusual approach using ARIES. The algorithm is unconcerned with RNA. It throws aside all we know about the molecule and its activities. Instead, it concentrated solely on atom arrangement. ARIES was originally taught using a limited collection of known patterns from prior RNA constructions. The team also included a huge number of erroneous alternate instances of the same structure. After digesting these examples, ARIES gradually modified its neural network parameters such that the computer began to understand how each atom and its positioning contributed to the overall function of the molecule. ARIES works in the same way as a traditional computer vision algorithm, gradually extracting features, from pixels to lines and forms. Its neural network layers cover both fine and coarse scales. When presented with a fresh collection of RNA structures, many of which are considerably more complicated than the ones used for training, ARIES was able to extract patterns and unique motifs, identifying how the letters bond. It learns solely from atomic structure and does not use any other information. It also makes no assumptions about whether structural traits are essential. The researchers next challenged ARIES to RNA puzzles as another benchmark. RNA puzzles is a community challenge for structural biologists to test their prediction algorithms against known experimental RNA structures. It began in 2011. ARIES completely outperformed the competitors. The average resolution has persistently remained approximately 10 times lower than that of a protein. ARIES increased accuracy by around 30%. It may appear to be a modest step, yet it represents a huge leap for one of biology's most difficult challenges. RNA structure prediction is considerably more difficult than protein structure prediction. And, for the time being, ARIES is unable to achieve the degree of precision required for drug development activities, or to uncover novel, hotspots, on RNA molecules that might alter human biology. However, ARIES is a significant step forward in penetrating the RNA fog, one that is poised to change RNA structure and function discovery. One way to enhance the algorithm is to add some experimental data to better simulate these complex systems. What is apparent is that RNA appears to have a structural code that helps govern gene circuits, which ARIES in future generations may be able to decipher. Much of RNA has been referred to be the black stuff of biology. We know it exists, but it is difficult to imagine and much more difficult to study. ARIES is the next telescope into the fog. As it becomes feasible to measure, deeply understand, and forecast the intricacies of the tertiary RNA structure OME, a plethora of novel biological processes will be discovered. Computational scientist Alex Bateman of the European Bioinformatics Institute, who was not involved in the work, observes that advancements in protein structure prediction enabled by AlphaFold have trailed behind developments in RNA structure prediction. However, he claims that the development of ARIES has proven a significant stride forward in the area, and we are looking forward to having access to these models. He warns that ARIES accuracy still has to be improved. Perhaps, inspired by the AlphaFold 2.0 methods release, we may see even better techniques and models in the next months and years, he says. RNA research is in an interesting phase right now. Curing diseases and viruses such as cancer has been seen as centuries off for the leading scientists in the past, but with all the recent advancements in the medical industry due to the quickly improving artificial intelligence, most scientists have changed their opinion and now believe that there's no virus and disease that's likely to withstand the rapid new advances in biology. Even things like aging are likely to be beaten in the pretty near future, several scientists believe. So, what is your opinion on the future of artificial intelligence in the medical industry? 
Do you believe that the possibilities in the medical industry are as endless as people believe, or is there something we're still missing in our quest to cure any virus and disease? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.